most of us are familiar with the gender pay gap, the fact that women are often paid less than men for doing the same job. But another example of inequality that receives less attention is the gender pension gap. On average, women have substantially less money saved for retirement than men. So why is that? Women just don't have as much retirement income as men. And there are all sorts of reasons for this. Um, one is that um, there may be difference in attitudes to saving and investing. Another difference is, is the, the pay gap, which has an impact on retirement income. So um, women earning less than men during their careers. And another key difference is that women tend to pick up the bulk of childcare responsibilities or caring responsibilities, which can mean they are either reduce their work or they're out of the workforce for a period and they have those gaps to, to make up. It's important that everyone starts investing as early as possible and ensures they're investing enough. But, says Maura O'Neill, it's essential that women do. When I have interviewed women who are in their 50s um, and I've asked them about uh, what regrets do you have um, about what you might have done differently early in life well, in terms of finances, they've said to me, uh, I wish that I'd started a pension. I wish I'd started a long term um, savings plan of my own. I wish I hadn't been reliant on my husband or partner. Um, for a, a retirement income. Um, one said, I wish I'd just looked at a long-term graph of the stock market so I could have seen what it might do for me. And that might have been, she said, the kick up the backside that I needed to start investing. Women often make big sacrifices for their family, but Moira's advice to women is simple. Don't neglect your own financial security. So women might uh, want to save for the children, they might want to um, save for family holidays, they might want to prioritise having a, a good lifestyle now and a good family lifestyle now. And they may not think about the future in, in so great detail, but I think they need to put themselves first. We need to put ourselves first. Um, the children won't want to see you living an impoverished lifestyle in retirement. That's the last thing they're going to want for their, for their mother. Young women have other financial commitments like paying off student loans or saving for a deposit on a house. They also want to enjoy life. Moira has two suggestions for them. First, don't rush into making unnecessary purchases. And secondly, think of money in terms of the hours you have to work to earn it. If money is converted into time, it becomes much more precious commodity. And so you need to therefore think about, you know, that pair of shoes. Would I, do I really want to buy it if, it's, if I've spent two days working for it? Uh, or that, that, pet, that, that amazing handbag, um, is it really worth a, mon a month of my work? Ultimately, there's a balance to strike between spending now and saving for the future. But the earlier women think about it, the better.